Today's project is an art prompt or inspiration box and the idea, if you don't know what they are, is to fill a box or a container with pieces of paper that have the names of different types of art materials, techniques or colours, um, anything like that that's going to inspire you and then you randomly pull out one or more of these um, bits of paper and challenge yourself to make a piece of artwork with them. So to begin with here I'm making some background papers using various colours of glimmer mist um, and I make about five in total I think for the um, amount of words that I'd selected for my box and the reason I'm doing these is because I wanted something a little more creative than just white pieces of paper so the backgrounds will be utilised to write the um, various words and techniques and things like that onto them um, as you'll see um, later in the project. The next thing I'm doing here is selecting this ticket stamp from a Tim Holtz set and some archival ink and I'm stamping these out to fill um, the whole sheet of paper so there you can see lots of the tickets as many as I could fit in then I'm going to cut them out and this is where my um, prompt words or inspiration words um, will be written. Obviously you can skip this step altogether if you want and just have plain white pieces of paper if this is not something that um, you'd like to do or you've got time to do. And here is the same process again on the pink coloured sheet um, just to show you that both sheets that um, we sprayed at the start of the video are being used in the same way and as I said earlier I did make several sheets like this um, although I didn't film them all for the video And here you can see the word sheets that I've typed up with all the various products and, and stamp manufacturers, some techniques, um, etc. And I just did these in a Word document and I'm hoping to make this available publicly on Google Drive. So if I manage to do that, I will leave a link in the video description. And I'm just trimming these up so that I can put them onto the ticket so they can see some of the words like washi tape, Sizzix dye, Distress Ink and various things. So you can adapt these to whatever you have in your art room. Next I'm taking a Zig glue. Um, and I really like this glue, it's easy to use, it's not too messy for little things like this so I would recommend that. Or any other adhesive that you happen to have, obviously it's not essential. So I'm just gluing down the different words onto the tickets, it's very easy, very quick until obviously they're all done. And here's some of the blue ones as well from the blue sheet I did. And here is the actual box that they're going to go in. So this is a paper mache box and here I've got some tissue paper because I'd like to add some texture to it so it's just the regular tissue paper that you would get um, as gift wrap or you sometimes get it with items of clothing or in shoe boxes it doesn't really matter what it is it's just there to provide some texture so anything that you have to hand really I'm using golden matte medium to adhere this to the box and making sure that I'm keeping as many of those wrinkles as possible to create the texture that I'm after. And now you can see what the box looks like um, once all the tissue paper has been adhered down. You can see all the texture that has created so the next step is to paint the box. So I've selected Lumia paints for this purpose in three different colours. The main colour and the first one that I'm painting here is the blue. And I really like Lumia paint. Um, a lot of them are pearl finish or metallic finish. And they really are highly pigmented and wonderful to work with, very smooth. And so here's the blue coat finished and now 
I am highlighting areas of the box with both of the other colours. So this is the pearl turquoise, which is a very pale colour, so it contrasts against the pearl blue. And I'm using a dry brush technique just so that small amounts of the paint are applied and they're catching in the textured areas and highlighting those. And onto the pearl violet and adding bits of that in the same way with a dry brush. And now the painting is finished and you can see all the texture on the box as well as the pearlescent and reflective finish of those paints. And here are the tickets that have all been printed and cut out with the stamped images. So I'm just adding those to the box so you can see what they look like in there. And now I'm just adding some decoration to the top of the box. I'm not going overboard with this, it's just very basic. So I'm using some of the Tim Holtz art parts, which I have stuck down on some acetate. They are self-adhesive. And this is just for ease of keeping them in one place whilst I paint them. The first coat that you can see here is some gesso because they are plastic and I wanted something for the paint to grip too. And here is the pearl turquoise again, so this was the lightest colour that I used on the box. And I end up adding two coats of gesso and two coats of the pearl paint, although I don't show both of those coats um, for the video. And here are the finished letters and you can see that the colour is um, a little bit more intense due to that second coat. So now I'm just peeling off the letters and you do get a little bit of paint um, around the edges so you can see I'm just trying to smooth that off and you could take a file to these if um, it bothered you that much. I do tidy them up a little bit more before I actually use some adhesive to stick them down. Um, but first here I'm just looking at placement so I'm just organising them um, straight off the acetate sheet to see where I'd like them to fit on top of the box. And now that I'm happy with the arrangement of the letters, I'm going to use Ranger Glossy Accents to glue those down. Um, as I said earlier, the art parts are self-adhesive, but over a textured surface, the adhesive probably isn't strong enough to stay in place, so that's why I'm adding the extra reinforcement. So that is the box finished. As I say, I did not want to add too much embellishment. Um, I'd like the box to be functional. So that is all I added. And I also made a second box, which you can see here. This one was actually done a couple of years ago um, over on Ustream, um, but I never got around to finishing it. And the original idea for this project came from Dee Dee Willingham who has both a Ustream and a YouTube channel, and I will link both of those in the description. And as always, there will be a link to the full product list that I've used for this project. And so to end with here, I'm just gonna show you quickly how I would use the boxes. Um, because I have two, I'm going to pull two tickets from each randomly without looking and whichever products are on these tickets, they're the ones that I would be trying to use all together in my next project. So here we have the tickets that I've pulled. I've got shaped chipboard. I have charcoal also. There we go, there's the charcoal ticket and then golden acrylics and the final one is hero arts.
So I hope this is something that is useful to you that can be used as a challenge or to inspire you. Um, you don't have to do it in a decorated box, you could use anything you wanted. Um, it's just something that's fun and a great challenge to use up your supplies. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.